This is Lesson 5.6, and we're still learning about related facts. We can use a related addition fact to find a subtraction fact. Remember, related facts use the same numbers in a different order. If we know that 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, then we know that 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Cubes can help us to find an unknown number. We'll use these square cubes. We'll write the unknown number in them. 7 and 2 and 5 are in a fact family. The way we use the cubes is we put the big number up here. That's the menu end. We put the subtrahend here, and we'll find the difference. When we add these two together, it will equal the number on top. See? If we have a 2 and a 5 down here, and we add them together, it's going to equal the 7 on the top. We can find and write the unknown number. Find 13 minus 5. We have 13 as the big number. When we use an addition sentence to find 13 minus 5, the 13 is going to be the sum, isn't it? 5 plus some number is going to equal 13. 5 plus some unknown number is equal to 13. Do you know what the answer is? We can use counters. We can make five dots. And we can make more dots until we have 13. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many dots did we have to make? Here's our original five. We had to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We had to make eight dots to have 13 dots. So 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. That means 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. We found our missing number. Our unknown number is 8. Find 12 minus 9. We have 12 minus 9, and we're going to use an addition sentence to help us find the difference. 9 plus some unknown number is equal to 12. We can count on until we get to 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 3. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. That means 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. And we know our unknown number for our triangle of cubes here is a 3. These two numbers added together will equal the 12. We used an addition sentence to help us find a related subtraction sentence. See? We can find 16 minus 7. We can use 7 plus some number equals 16. 7 plus some unknown number is equal to 16. Let's make seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then let's make more dots until we have 16. We have seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many dots did we have to make? Here's our original seven. We had to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven plus nine is equal to 16. That means 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. The related facts, they use the same numbers in a different order. That means the missing number, the unknown number here, is a 9. Find 18 minus 9. We can use 9 plus an unknown number equals 18 to help us find 18 minus 9. Do you know what we would add to 9 to get 18? Have you memorized your addition facts yet? 
If you know, good job. If you don't know, let's use counters. Let's make nine counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's make more until we get up to 18. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We made just as many counters. We made nine counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was a doubles. Nine plus nine is equal to 18. That means to find 18 minus nine, we put another nine here. It was a doubles fact. Nine plus nine is equal to 18. That means this unknown, unknown number in the cube is a nine. Find 12 minus 5. We can find 12 minus 5 by using a related addition fact. 5 plus some number equals 12. Do you know what we would add to 5 to equal 12? If we have 5 counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, how many more counters would we need to add to get up to 12? We have 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many counters did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. That means we found 12 minus 5 with the related addition fact, and the missing unknown number is a 7. That means this is a 7. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, so 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. We can write an addition sentence to help us find a difference. Remember, the difference is the answer in a subtraction sentence. So, we can write an addition sentence to help us find a difference. 13 minus 9, we need the difference. We can write an addition sentence. 9 plus an unknown number is equal to 13. And our subtraction sentence would just be this, 13 minus 9. What do we need to add to 9 to have 13? We can start at 9 and count up until we get to 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4. We have to add 4. That means we found 13 minus 9 with a related addition fact. The missing number is a 4. Because in related facts, they use the same numbers but in a different order. We can find 11 minus 7. We can write a related addition fact. 7 plus an unknown number is equal to 11. Our subtraction sentence is this, 11 minus 7 is equal to an unknown number. We can start at 7 and count up to 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, so 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. We can use shapes to show a related subtraction fact. We can pretend the shapes are numbers. We have a yellow hexagon here. We have a red trapezoid. If we add this shape and this shape, it will give us a square. If we use the square as the minuend and take away a shape, it will give us the yellow hexagon. Do you know which shape is missing? Remember, related facts use the same numbers, but in a different order. So these would use the same shapes, but in a different order. Do you know which one of these shapes would fit here? Is it the triangle, the diamond, the trapezoid, or the rhombus? If you said the red trapezoid, you're right. 
if these took the place of numbers, this is what a related subtraction fact would look like for that addition fact. Let's try it again. What's shape that is missing here? We have a blue rhombus. We have an orange square and a green triangle. Now we have a green triangle. We have the blue rhombus over here, so what's missing from here? Which one of these belongs in that space? If you said the orange square, you're right. Related facts use three different numbers, so we have three different shapes. A rhombus, a square, and a triangle. A rhombus, a square, and a triangle. See? Which number is the unknown number in these related facts? We have an unknown number plus 4 is equal to 13. 4 plus the unknown number is equal to 13. 13 minus 4 is equal to the unknown number. And 13 minus the unknown number is equal to 4. That's a fact family, isn't it? So which one of these belongs in the cube? We could answer any one of these, and it'll give us the answer to the rest. We can start at 13 and count back 4. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 9. That means this is the correct one. 13 minus 4 is 9. That means 13 minus 9 is 4. It also means 9 plus 4 is 13, and 4 plus 9 is 13, because we can add in any order, can't we? Our next video is Choose an Operation. We need to know how to choose when to add or subtract. That's Lesson 5.7. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye.